Hi guys and welcome to this new series of uh, reviews that I will be bringing you where I talk about uh, IEMs which are maybe perhaps uh, been available in the market for a, for a little bit of a, for a while you know the, the IEMs which are not so so spoken about IEMs which are different in their configurations IEMs which uh, are still relevant uh, by today's standards even though they are older uh, IEMs are just uh, oh, uh, outside the box. Uh, in this particular case today, I bring you the Panon Serial, the Unique Melodies 3DT Terminator, and the QDC D-Magic 3D. Uh, the, the, what they have in common is they all are full DD sets, uh, so uh, just dynamic drivers, and they all have three dynamic drivers. Uh, they are all utilizing, again, three different configurations, three different setups, with three different tuning styles. Uh, and this isn't so much as um, to ascertain which is the best one, but more or for me to try and um, uh, show you what each of them has as plus and negative points. Um, you know, if you have these IMs, I'd love to hear from you and get back some feedback. If you don't have, hopefully this video will help you decide whether these IMs you know, suit you or not. Anyway, uh, as I said, I've got three models here, the Panon Serial, which is around $299 from Panon. I've got the Unique Melody 3DT Terminator, which is $399, and this particular one I got from Hi-Fi Go. And uh, the QDC uh, D-Magic 3D is, uh, was loaned to me by my good friend Gustavo, uh, and you have it in the normal version, which is what he has here, the standard version, Universal Fit which is $1,300 and you can also get it in the custom fit which is $1,460 so big money these two are closer to their price uh, you know to each other that one there is, is a big chunk of money in terms of uh, what, it, what it is well, it, it's, it's this this is what we have uh, there are a few other models that I would have liked and, I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to work to try and find a way to get those to me even if they are just loaners like the QDC and uh, if, if that does happen, I'll definitely redo this video and, and, and bring you those other um, full DD sets um, for, 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 your, for your pleasure, for you guys to, to see what I have to say about them. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Uh, non Serial, it's been around since uh, about 2021. Um, beautiful I am, absolutely beautiful. It's got this uh, medical grade resin shell um, with this uh, stabilized wood faceplate. Um, therefore, all of them will be different. I'm using a, a Panon OS849 cable, which just matches amazingly well with the serial. It just brings out the best that the serial has to offer. Fit of the serial is flawless. I've got nothing to say about that. Um, isolation also is perfect. I'm using these the standard tips that comes with it. Again, they just work well. I didn't have to worry about putting my usual KB ears. They just worked very well. Um, internally, we have three drivers, a 10 millimeter biofiber driver for the base, an eight millimeter titanium driver for the mids, and a six millimeter uh, PU driver for the highs. It's got a three-way crossover, 18 ohm impedance, 103 dBs. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's, that's the serial. What can I tell you about the serial in terms of its... Um, of its sound, uh, well, it's musical. It has an amazing, uh, an amazing execution of, of 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 the way that it reproduces music. It, it it it's very natural. It's very. It's got this amazing timbre and tonality. Um, it's got this very old school vibe to it. If you guys remember when I did the review, uh, it's got the super engaging. I mean, the, the bass is absolutely unreal. It reminds me of those vintage speakers um, from the 70s. The mids are, in my opinion, flawlessly executed. Uh, you know, they, they just match the, the, the bass uh, uh, present perfectly. Um, and then the treble is, is a, more of a, of a smooth, neutral kind of treble. It's enough to match the rest of the frequency. Um, but it's it's not overbearing, it's not excessive. That obviously has plus and negative points. The plus point is it's smooth, it's it's relaxed, it's not fatiguing, uh, no sibilance, no shouting, it's nothing. Uh, the, the, the the less favorable is that yes, uh, you know the, the the technicalities, the micro details suffer a little bit from from that uh, smoothness. Okay. 
Um, oh, just worthwhile mentioning that in terms of the accessories package that comes with the uh, the, the the serial, uh, that's that's very well done. Anyway, as I was saying, the 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 the, the sound is a is is. It's like an organic, uh, old school, sexy sound. Let's put it that way. It's, it's really nice. I mean, you listen to it, and even if the song is super technical and and, and you know full of details, you kind of uh, it, this 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 um, the, the serial speaks to you. Uh, it's not the correct word, but speaks to you in such a way that uh, it just draws you in. You know, it's it's got this. This ability to whisper sweet nothings to your ear, you know, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's like a beautiful woman that knows exactly the right things to say to you at the right moment, and she will convince you, even though, uh, you know, she might not be uh, absolutely stunning in every detail, but she's 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 beautiful, she's sexy, she's got the sex appeal, she's romantic, and she knows how to say the right things to you. And she just seduces you, and that's exactly what the, the, the serial is about. It's it's a it's a very seductive sound. Um, the soundstage, in terms of its of its technicalities, the soundstage uh, is is deep. It's got good left and right, uh, you know, width. So um, the, I would say the, air, the height is average. Imaging, uh, it's it's fine. I mean, you can position things pretty decently as long as it's not a busy track or anything of the sort. Um, uh, and and then like I mentioned the, 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 the you know the, the the detailed retrieval is the area where you can be left desiring a little bit more it's not that it's offensive or or that it's not able to uh, you know get a good amount of details it is but this is about this is an IM for a person that wants to to listen to music uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a you know it's, it's a um, uh, it's an, it's an IEM for a person that's not worried about the, the technical aspects of things, okay? Um, and that's, that's, that's in a nutshell the, the, the serial. I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, what can I say? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a really, truly unique uh, um, execution of 3DDs in a, in, a, in, a, in a very traditional manner. It's a three-way setup, but in a traditional manner. Um, but it's been well done. It's got the, 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 the typical Panon house sound, and when I show you the graphs now in a second, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, and that's it. Um, I, I saw some people complaining about it could have a little bit more sub bass. Honestly, I'd never found it to be lacking in anything with regards to the bass department or the mids. Um, it's, it's just, in my personal opinion, my personal taste, but what I listen to is just flawless. I mean, there's one particular song that showcases exactly what this can do, which is a song called Blackbird by, by Lady Blackbird. Um, if you have the serial, listen to that song. Listen to that song and then, you know, give me your opinion. It's, it's, it's seriously, you, you just, you, you, it takes you for a ride. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a hidden pleasure, honestly. Uh, I know I'm, I'm, I might might seem like I'm uh, shilling the, the cereal, but the, the truth is I like it a lot. I really, really like it a lot. It's it's one of my favorite IEMs, and uh, I've got quite a few, and it's definitely one of my favorite IEMs. Um, next to that, uh, we've got the, the 3DT. Um, also came out around 2021. Price is four hundred dollars. Three driver setup once again. Uh, it uses two seven mm two seven millimeter um, base drivers, and then uses a single uh, ten millimeter uh, CNT driver, uh, so common nanotube uh, diaphragm driver for the the mids and the highs. Also has a three way setup uh, crossover. Um, impedance is 20, 25 ohms, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the sensitivity is a little bit higher at 113 dBs. Um, the shell is this beautiful stabilized wood shell that's been dyed uh, and, and, and you know the, with this this resin and, and and extra little bit of pigmentation to make to look make it look. I mean, it's it's a work of art, honestly. And actually, any one of these three, when it comes to the the visual um, aspect, I mean, these are pure eye candy. 
pure eye candy. Um, again, fit is flawless, uh, isolation flawless, no complaint. I'm using a XINHS uh, two core cable, uh, silver plated. It just again works perfectly with the, the synergy between the, the, this cable and, and the, the 3DT is, is, is perfect. Uh, keep in mind as well what I always say, it's, uh, it's not that I'm a, a big cable believer, but yes, there are cables that if they measure correctly, which is the case of this one, uh, and if they're, they just match the, the particular eye, I mean, the correct fa fashion, you will notice uh, slight improvements. You will notice slight improvements. Um, another unique thing that is worth mentioning is that the, internally the, um, there's a, a 3D printed, uh, um, th let's say, sub-enclosure, which houses the two 7 millimeters and the, 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 the 10 millimeter uh, in, this, in this chamber, okay? That has then all the, the tubes that exit the sound through the nozzle. Um, so yeah, that's that's. I mean, the technical aspects of the three D T. That's it. Now, with regards to to the sound, which is obviously what we want to know. Well, it's a, it's it's a it's a good it's a it's a good dynamic sound. Um, it's balanced. Uh, it, it all, you know, although when you look at the graph from factory. But then, with my own graph, I confirmed exactly what my ears were hearing. Uh, you, you, you would be led to believe that it's got, it's a bass monster. No, it's not a bass monster. It's got good bass. Uh, the bass, you know, uh, has good extension. There's a good amount of of, of sub bass present. Uh, not in massive quantities, but in terms of quant quality, it's there. Um, it's it's got decent speed. Again, timbre and tonality. If there's one thing that's a very common uh, uh, characteristic of any one of these trees, it's the timbre and tonality is always very, very good. Um, personally, personally, this is my personal preference. The cereal is the one that comes out on top over the other two, just barely, but it's the one that's got the best timbre and tonality. Uh, but anyway, this also has an excellent timbre and tonality. Um, also worth mentioning is that the highs, much like the highs on the cereal, or a little bit on the restraint side, uh, although um, because there's not as much bass as on the serial, you do get a feeling of a slightly more open sound. Okay. Um, what more can I tell you about the 3DT? Um, it, it's not an IEM that particularly takes well to EQ. Although again, I'm not one to use EQ very often, but occasionally I do try to see if that will bring any improvements, or just for the sake of trying. Uh, and it's not an IEM, especially in the bass, that takes a while to, to EQing, so uh, I'd, I'd uh, pay particular attention to that. Um, also, also worth mentioning is I've actually got two 3DTs. I've got an older one, and I've got this one, which is more recent. Uh, and my older one graphs in a very different manner to this one. My older one has got more significant peaks uh, in two areas, which I'll show you afterwards in the graph. And that could be the reason why some people maybe complained about this being a little bit uh, shouty or a little bit harsh sometimes. Particularly this, this 3DT, no, none of that. This 3DT, there's absolutely no, no shoutiness, no, no nothing. Um, it's, 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 for me, it's perfect, okay? Um, what more can I tell you that's, that's well, um, uh, worth mentioning? It's got very good accessories, just very much like the, um, uh, like the, um, uh, like the, well, almost like the, the cereal. Uh, but, you know, it, they, they could be slightly better, especially the cable. Then it's not bad, the accessories, but it could be slightly better, especially in the cable, which is a little bit, okay, it's, it's, not, a, it's not bad sounding, the cable, let's put it that way, but the quality just, okay, you know, it's a little bit on the dubious side. Um, in terms of, of, of um, uh, musical genres, um, I would say it's, it's pretty versatile, much like the, the three, the, like the, the serial. The 3DT can, can do well with most music genres as long as they are not too over complicated. Um, oh, and I was forgetting, in terms of the, the technical aspects of the, of the 3DT, um, 
the sound stage has good depth and height uh, but it's got a, a more narrower uh, stage it's it's more of a cozy stage uh, while on, on the serial it was the exact opposite you you had uh, you had uh, um, a stage that was uh, very good especially in terms of the left right or the width okay um, imaging is also pretty decent as long as the track isn't very uh, very busy uh, and detail retrieval over here is a little bit better than it is on the serial uh, and and that is again down to the fact that you don't have as much bass as on the serial so that aspect of the of the of the technicalities is uh, uh, is improved um, so yeah I mean obviously I, I'll, I'll wait until the end and then I'll, I'll give a, a comparison between the three or on certain aspects which I think are worthwhile mentioning and then finally the uh, we've got here yeah, the, uh, the the QDC the the D Magic 3D. Uh, it's also been around since roughly 2021, so it's been around for a while. Uh, as I mentioned, you know it's, this is big money, and you can you can buy these two, and you still have money left over uh, with the price of the of the QDC. Actually, if you buy this in custom, I think you could buy two of them, two of each of these. Uh, anyway, three driver setup again, 10 millimeter coaxial driver. Uh, where one diaphragm is um, graphene, the other diaphragm is uh, titanium, and then it's got an eight millimeter uh, for the highs. The, the the two previous diaphragms in the coaxial they handle the base and the mids. Three way setup, like I mentioned, thirteen point five ohm impedance, so a little bit lower, and also a lower sensitivity, ninety eight dBs, uh, and it definitely is the one that is the hardest to drive of the three um, but having said that uh, when you when you give it some good clean power it opens up in a very very impressive manner in terms of how it sounds it sounds really really big um, it's also got a, um, a stabilized wood uh, shell that's been then swirl painted with this pigmentation to give it this this finish there we go, I hope you can kind of get an idea. And then it's been also covered in, in resin, again, much like they've done there on the, on the 3DT. Fit is, once again, perfect. I didn't have any issues with the fit. Um, isolation, fine. There is one detail here that maybe the most, the most savvy of you will have noticed, which is the cables are connected in reverse polarity. And why reverse polarity? Because the, it is wired in reverse polarity. And funny enough, uh, I was a little bit skeptical at first, but if you put up the cable in the correct in the correct fashion that it should be put, um, it sounds one way. And if you reverse polar, you know, if you connect it, if you correct the polarity by connecting it the, the other way around, uh, it it sounds it sounds better. It sounds it sounds better. It really does sound better. Um, is it a big difference? No, it's not a big difference, but it, you just feel the sound is just that little extra cleaner. Okay, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I could have solved that issue of this being like this by removing the, the ear hook material here, but uh, this cable is not mine, this belongs also to Gustavo, and obviously I wasn't going to do it. Um, anyway, I thought that's, that's important to mention. In terms of its accessories, again, it's, it's on par with the other two. I would say. Uh, on the same level overall as the serial uh, and again uh, the, U the the unique melody is just slightly below because of the quality of the cable uh, not that the cable doesn't sound good but it's just the quality of the cable on to uh, what we, we we want to know which is the, you know the sound and so on it's it's got a very enjoyable tuning uh, uh, it's very balanced uh, and it's again focused on being very musical um, that once again is a common theme. These IEMs are not IEMs which are detailed monsters or for technical like freaks, freaks in a good way of the, of the word. They are uh, IEMs that um that have been made or tuned to be musical. That's 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 the most important thing here. Um, it's got a very typical um, uh, QDC kind of style in terms of its um, uh, signature. It's got this bump. In the in the in the mid bass, which is typical of QDC's uh, tuning style, 
and then um, the, 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 the area between 1 and 3k is slightly more forward than perhaps the other two uh, again to just give a little bit more of vocal presence and instrument presence and then there's a, a slight a slight dip after that and then again a, a, a rise in the frequency to bring again a little bit more energy and, in, uh, and fun to the to the whole uh, way of reproducing music um, the timbre and the tonality are also good as I've mentioned before um, however it's not that it doesn't sound natural it doesn't sound good for for some reason um, I, I really can't put my finger on what it is exactly I think the the for me personally the timbre and tonality of both the serial and the UM slightly edge up the 3DT but I mean it's very slight um, in terms of more in, in more detail the actual frequency spectrum the um, sub bass is not the forte of the of the 3DT it's got a nice dynamic imp, you know mid bass impact but it's not sub bass uh, the it's its biggest um, uh, trait but the, that impact that it does have on the mid bass does lend the sound or does lend the the, the 3DT very good for rock and actually, funny enough, uh, Gustavo is a rock lover, and he confirms exactly that. Uh, stage again, it's got you know decent depth and 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 uh, the height, and and the the the, 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 the width is is again more on the intimate side. So uh, these two, in terms of that of the imaging of very uh, of the sound stage, sorry, are very equal. Uh, in terms of the imaging, this one is very good in terms of the image, better than the 3DT. The 3DT struggles when things get a little bit complicated. Um, what more can I say? What more can I say about the, the uh, QDC? Um, yeah, I've mentioned the technical aspects, I've mentioned, oh, detail retrieval, again, pretty decent. Um, slight, well, superior to the serial slightly superior to slightly superior to the 3dt um, and uh, yeah that's basically it that's kind of in a nutshell everything so just kind of like a recap a quick recap great bass and mids uh, slightly laid back treble the standout feature here is timbre and tonality for me good width of sound stage um, balanced signature uh, you know, good, uh, good dynamics. Um, bass has got uh, good quality in terms of its sub bass capabilities. Not as much uh, slam as either the serial or the uh, 3DT, the, the 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 3D Magic. Um, it's 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 uh, an IM that uh, uh, it's. Focus, I would say, is again the mids. The mids are the focus, uh, or, or the you know the, the the main thing that it does know how to do well, and um, it's versatile for most music genres as long as it's not complicated music genres. Um, the three D magic, uh, I think the, the 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 preferred music style will definitely be rock. Uh, very good in terms of its detailed retrieval capabilities. Uh, technicalities are on par with the th with the three DT from Unique Melodies. Um, it's got a nice, uh, enjoyable tuning uh, that, that focuses on it being musical, being listenable. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, there's there's really not much more that I can I can say. Um, there's 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 no clear winner here. In, because they all have different abilities let's put it that way however if uh, we have to take into consideration uh, price restraints or price uh, limitations uh, which would be the one that probably would make the most sense and would be the safest choice I would say the serial um, not only because obviously it's the cheapest but because I think that this uh, even though not a, a detailed monster in terms of its detailed retrieval, uh, even though you know it might have a smoother treble and so on, I still feel that this one might be the one that will be more uh, capable of ticking the right boxes for a wider audience. Uh, while these two start becoming more 
more niche kind of oriented uh, but as i said any one of them is uh, absolutely amazing they play very well they represent well uh, their, their design philosophy their design premise uh, and that's it i'll show you another graphs and i'll wrap it up okay hi guys and uh, welcome now to the uh, graph section of this uh, kind of comparison that i've been doing for you guys so let's start first here with the graph of the serial okay so that's the graph of the serial um, crazy base as you can see uh, I don't I don't really understand why people would say that it's lacking sub base I don't understand but anyway crazy base uh, and then the way that it just marries into the mids although there's a slight amount of bleed and so on and so forth it, it, it's just very very good uh, the mids of again very typical Pinon kind of characteristic and the way the mids are done again very much Pinon style um, this is a good indicator and this justifies why we have such a nice uh, wide sound stage um, and although it does seem like there's a good amount of of uh, uh, treble and, 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 the, and therefore the capability for detail retrieval and so on and so forth the fact that you got this crazy amount of bass I mean we're talking roughly 11 almost 12 dBs of bass uh, it does camouflage slightly the mids but the mids are on their own are very well executed as you can see very very well executed um, so yeah that's that's the, the serial the next one I'm going to show you now uh, sorry the next one number five Three, four, five, exactly. Number five now. Number five. This is the graph of uh, the, the unique melodies 3DT. I'm just going to show you it by itself first. Um, we have a, a, a gain of about seven dBs for the bass, about eight, nine dBs for the mids, uh, and everything is. I mean, I think the, the graph is quite self explanatory, very, very relaxed. Uh, execution of bass and, and mid ba uh, the mid bass is a little bit on the lean side fine but everything is very well executed very well uh, it's very well done it's it's about quality and not quantity here nice um, uh, rise of the pin again again very very much flat across the majority of of the upper mids and the treble and then some lack of it, of of that of that energy past 10k does explain then the issue with regards to the uh, sound stage. When I compare it with the serial, you can see that there's a lot of similarities there, a lot of similarities, but obviously the serial's got this crazy amount of bass, and well, uh, again, very self explanatory. Um, and finally, this is the graph of the 3D Magic, uh, the typical kind of mid bass uh, bump, okay. Uh, with that relatively early uh, um, pin again, uh, peaks at around 2k, so it kind of make things a little bit forward, slight dip, and then again, again a bit of, but a, but a, a bit of extra energy over there at five, six, seven, to just lively, uh, lively liven things up again. Um, this would be a, and is a good indicator of sound stage. Uh, and there is a, I mean, there is a good uh, amount of 3Dness. There is a good amount of, of that spatial, spatial in the sound. Um, however, I just feel that it's not as much as the graph would indicate. Okay. So just putting the three graphs together now. That's with the serial, uh, and that's with the 3DT. Um, I think it's it's look uh, these are three perfect examples of uh, alternative ways of tuning uh, that can sound and do sound very good obviously we're talking three different three different prices 300 400 and 1300 dollars there's a big difference in prices yeah um, the, the you know the choice or, or what is the ideal uh, is always very dependent on each individual's uh, financial abilities or capabilities but as I said earlier the, the one that for me makes the most sense 
and I think it's the one that will satisfy the most amount of people will probably be the serial um, just by the nature of what it is and it's the safest as well in terms of your, of its whole tuning and everything uh, and that, that, that's it guys I mean I hope you enjoyed this little this little uh, take of mine and I'll be bringing uh, bring, I will be bringing you a, a few more because uh, I really think that this is a this is something that hasn't been explored as much as it can be and hopefully uh, yeah I can uh, help some people take their decisions all right anyway like and subscribe any questions please just feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible okay you take care now bye bye